Watch it guys, got another quick video here for you. Now this one may be a bit basic for some people, but I'm sure it will get some use for some people that don't understand that they've got problems with their Windows operating system and they want to have an attempt at fixing it themselves. So first off, we're going to be looking at how we can fix startup issues and stuff with Windows 8 by using the automatic repair tool. Now the automatic repair tool has been inside Windows since XP days and as you can see here you may be uh, having problems with missing or corrupt incompatible drives or drivers and also uh, missing or corrupt system files or it may be missing or corrupt uh, boot configuration settings or it may be uh, missing or corrupt registry settings or it could be MBR partition table boot sector uh, errors that you'd be getting and also it fixes a lot of problematic updates from Windows updates so these are the, some of the things that this tool will actually fix. Now there's two ways of getting to this at the desktop. So if you can get to your desktop, you can use the tool. And also if you can't get to your desktop, you can use the recovery tool and also um, you can use a Windows uh, 8 CD. Now Windows 8 and 8.1 are slightly different, but I'll show you how to do it from the desktop first off. I'm going to come down to the bottom right here and hit settings and then we're going to go where it says change PC settings. Now inside Windows 8 we can see here there's a selection of stuff here. Now inside general this is where it will be in Windows 8 and you should see something saying advanced startup. Okay. Now we want to click on this inside general in Windows 8 reboot the system and uh, once you've done that you want to hit troubleshoot here and you want to come down to where it says advanced options now once you get to this area you can see we've got automatic repair and this is the tool that we're going to be using to fix a lot of uh, issues so we're going to hit that so as you can see we're getting our preparing automatic repair here and what it will do here now is it will ask you to select the account that you want to do an automatic repair on you can cl click on this We then log in and it will diagnose your PC for some problems that it may be having. Now you'll get this message popping up, automatic repair could not repair your PC. Press advanced options and try other options. Now if it doesn't repair your PC this is what you're going to get. Now if it does repair your PC it will actually uh, repair it and reboot the system. It will also give you a log file in this location here so you can look at this log file. Now you can click on advanced options here go back to troubleshoot if you're having more issues and you can refresh your PC and use this if you're still having problems or you can go back to reset your PC. Now bearing in mind that some of these will lose data and some of them don't so you need to check those out okay now you can also come into more advanced options here and have a look and system image recovery. Now if you've got an image uh, recovery then you can use this method but you can also try the system restore method first which is like a, a restore point. So say you clicked on this one, you if you've got system restore points they would work but this has no system restore points so you can't use this method okay? if you've got no system restore points. If you have you can actually use those but you can see here refresh your PC if you click on refresh your PC here's what's going to happen your files and personal settings won't change your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults apps from Windows Store will be kept apps uh, you installed from disk or websites will be removed so bear that in mind okay and a list of uh, removed apps will be saved on your desktop on a little document. If you don't want to continue you can always hit the back button and go to something else. Now also reset your PC uh, everything really files and apps will be removed so you're going to lose everything if you do this method okay so bear that in mind. Now I did say about um, using your Windows CD and we're going to try that next so we're going to put our Windows CD and I'll show you how to do that so this will start to boot to our CD
Now what you're going to get is this window pop up, okay? You just select what you want to select and push next. At this stage, you don't push install, you want to click on the repair your computer and this is if your PC doesn't boot. This will then give you some options, the same options, you click your troubleshoot and you've got these options here and also your advanced options and this will be where you will try your automatic repair okay as you can see here you click on this and it will do your automatic repair let me just quickly show you Windows 8.1 and show you where to locate it from there the boot up process from the CD will be the same so here we are on our Windows 8.1 machine we need to do is come down to the bottom right click on settings and then change PC settings. Now if you look on the left hand side here it's slightly different. We can see update and recovery. This is the one that you need to go on if you're on 8.1. Click on this. Come down to where it says recovery and then restart now to advance startup. Click on that. Same thing again. Hit troubleshoot and then you want to go to your advanced options here and you can see start up repair hit that it will start to prepare to automatic repair your machine hit the account that you want to enter if you've got no password you can hit uh, continue but if you have got a password you will need to put that password in once you put your password in it will start diagnosing your PC now if yours has been successful you will get a successful repair now if it doesn't uh, get a successful repair you will still get this message and you can go through the other procedures like I showed you so that's basically how you use automatic repair in Windows 8 and 8.1. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you find the video useful, then hit the like button. Also, if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, then hit the subscribe button, okay? So I hope this one answers all your questions and it helps you out to fix those minor issues that you may be having with your computer, okay? So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.